The opposition is hitting only 160 against Ty Floyd this year. And then the Kentucky prior to that. Cruz is on his horse. He's galloping back toward the wall. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Infield back. Two outs. A liner to center field. Cruz coming on. He dives. And he's got it. This has been a Dylan Cruz defensive show in the top of the first inning. Dylan Cruz alone has saved at least two runs, if not more. Hey, Tommy White is next. I got him. That hit him. Cruz is hit by a pitch, so he does not need a guide dog to show his way to first base. Throwing area, so it's it's not been his arm that has been giving him trouble. And White indeed deposits one off the right center field wall on one hop. Cruz is pinwheeling around third. Here's the throw. Cruz is safe. And Tommy White delivers another RBI. On the RBI double by Tommy White, ground ball right side. It takes a hop into the midsection of the second baseman, Petre, and that will retire the Tigers. 27 wins for Kentucky this year, and 28 for the Tigers. And a solid single to left field, but he did continue his hitting streak. Runner is on the move. Malazzo's throw is a good one. The tag applied by Thompson, who made a nifty pickup of a short hop. That ball actually got into the dirt. That's high and away, and so it is a five-pitch pass. Stanky belts one. This ball is carrying, carrying way up into the bleachers. A two-run home run for Chase Stanky. That's his first home run of the season, and it gives Kentucky a two-to-one lead. Well, Chase Stanky came in as a 176 hitter, but when you fall behind 2-0, the pitching coach goes to the mound. Everybody in the park knows you're going to throw a fastball, and a 176 hitter turns into Babe Ruth, and Chase Stanky got all over it and ran that ball easily into the bleachers in right field. And he lobs this one to left field. That's down in front of Walt Schmidt. Jordan Thompson immediately becomes a base runner and represents the tying run. That's ball four. Lined over the head of the shortstop. One Tiger scores. The second one is being waved around. The throw goes to third base, and it's a delivery of two runs on one swing by Trey Morgan. Napolt was pinwheeling around third, and the throw actually came to the third baseman, not to the plate. Now, the third baseman is the cutoff, you know, to left field, but and there was a chance to make it a close uh, to the a plate, but it, you know, the third baseman right there, the ball let that ball bounce. There he goes. Cruz takes ball four. Face on it. White hits it sharply to second. To second base for one with a shortstop covering over to first for two. Morgan is hit by a pitch, and that one stings, if not more. The 2 1 pitch. Cruz lines it into right center field. Let's see if it gets to the wall. It will. Morgan is rounding third. Morgan is on his way to the plate. Morgan makes it standing up. Dylan Cruz delivers again. A run scoring double by Dylan Cruz as Morgan advanced three bases on this knock. White drives one deep to center field. Gray is back, back, back. That's up on the batter's eye. A two-run home run for Tommy White. He continues to be an RBI factory. The leading run batted in producer in the country has added two more on his 12th home run of the season. And Tommy White, with a rising liner, drills one better than 400 feet to straightaway center field. Cruz and White delivering here in the fourth. 424 feet, 113 miles an hour off the bat at only a 17 degree angle. That is just a line drive missile. 
Nepal got a little piece of leather on that as he left his feet. But it's a base hit by Walsh Smith. Team in the SEC, so it's exaggerated here this series. There's ball four, and that's the first free pass in a while with two aboard. Ground ball left side, it's through into left field. Morgan's throw is cut off, and Kentucky delivers with Burks down in the count, two strikes, and he got a pitch over the plate and drove it into left field for an RBI single. Smashed off the chest of White at third. He'll pick it up in foul ground, and the bases are loaded. So Felker, first pitch swinging. Popped up, foul ground, right side. Jobert over, now twisting back and misplays it. He overran it. One Wildcat scores. Here comes another, here comes another. And the batter winds up at third base. Jobert took off as best he could, but he overran the ball on a fly ball that gave Jobert trouble in right field. Now LSU has two errors in this game. I don't know if they're gonna rule that an error or a hit, but that's an error. Either way, save this inning so far. 3-2 pitch is ripped on a hop up the middle, and Kentucky has regained the lead. Boy, how about the night that Stanky has had? Even in the last at-bat when he flew out to dead center, it was a uh, bomb to the warning track in center. Stanky came in, Lynn, batting 176. One by walk, three by base hits, and Herring Rips one over the inside part of the plate. And instead he hits it. That's not good. Oh, it's a great deal of fun. Herring throws it away, and you could almost see it coming, Ronnie. We just didn't quite. And only two teams in America have more. LSU has seven, by the way, if you're wondering. McCarthy is hit by a pitch, and he's hurt. The bases are loaded now. A looper just out of the reach of Thompson. One Wildcat scores. Cruz throws it back to the infield, and Kentucky has a two-run lead on a weak base hit by Stanky, but nonetheless his third hit of the night and his fourth run driven in. I mean, Stanky has turned his season around completely. That jam shot. Cruz is calling for it. He's got it. The runner tags at third. Cruz's throw is relayed home very late. And Grant Smith gets the sacrifice fly to center field. The 0-1. Lined into center field. Runner at second had started back. And so it's only a one base advance. LSU caught a break there. That's ball four. Kentucky batted around in the fifth inning and it's not far from batting around in the seventh. The 1-0 to Petre. Grounded under the glove of the first baseman. Nepolt makes the play to keep it from going into right field, but nobody was there to cover first, and he wouldn't have had a play anyway. And that's uh, Petre's fifth hit, or sixth hit, in this series. Four last night, did the shake, and they gave him a different pitch. A breaking ball here is driven deep to right field. Jobert catches it near the warning track. It's plenty deep enough to advance the runners. So a sacrifice fly by Gilliam, and for the second time in the last three innings, Kentucky has batted around. Breaking ball, hit left side. White gobbles it up, makes the throw to the plate side, but it's taken over there by Jones for the tag out. On six feet, four inches. For the Tigers offensively. There's a smash, a loud base hit into the right field corner. As Jobert bangs one, Jones is on his way to third base, and now they put the brakes on him. No need to risk a play at the plate as Jobert doubles. Ground ball left side. Big time base running mistake. The pole chases one that was elevated.
Pearson is aboard, and that's exactly what the Tigers need, and a lot more of it. Five walks, has not given up an earned run this season. He hits the first batter he faces. The 2-1 pitch. Smacked on a hop, and it gets by the shortstop. LSU will play it cozy on the base paths. Six strikeouts, one walk. And White watches it sail wide. A free run for LSU. And that is RBI number four for Tommy White. He adds to his national lead in that category. And Beloso can't come up with it. An off-speed pitch, and that one had him fooled. Pulled the string. He lobs this one to left. It's down for a base hit. Two Tigers are going to score. LSU has tightened this game. A two-run single by Jared Jones. Chopped right side, gonna be a tough play. Pitcher's gonna have to cover. The out is recorded. Thompson cannot find it. And the Tigers leave the tying run at second base. Ground ball right side, base hit. It's bobbled out there by Pearson, but he's able to recover. Money to the plate. White's got it, makes the throw to first base. We don't see that very often. There's a knock past Morgan into right field. The run around third. Here's the throw, and it is late, and Kentucky adds a third run to its lead. Money's 1-2 pitch. Runner breaks. A drive to left field. It will stay in the ballpark. And Jobert makes the catch. Ole Miss nipped Mississippi State 3-2. Here's a high drive into the left field corner. And it's caught. Not the 6-30 like we did today. Let's see if Pearson can set the table. That's a start. He's walked twice. Stay out of and break up a double play. Morgan drills it to the second baseman to short for one. Relay back to first. In time, Morgan is nipped at first base. The Tigers do not have a challenge. And that is the fourth double play that LSU has hit into in this game. <laughs>